this is a Lockthon Plays, and this is the video for the last of the visages uh, of the NPCs that are found on the anomaly in no, no Man's Sky. This one unlocked on PS4 just a little while ago, and it's for Ariadne. This is one of the more alien uh, visages we've had. And as I mentioned, this is the last of the visages from the NPCs on the anomaly and Hello Games said in their patch notes for 2.26 that the next Quicksilver items are going to be uh, jetpack trails in blue, green, and red. Therefore, this will be the last of these videos that I make for a while because uh, I don't see any reason to make vi videos of those unless they happen to be uh, difficult to install or, or, or something like that. But if you have any uh, ideas for videos that you would like me to do, uh, make a, a say something in the comments and I will take that into consideration and perhaps I will follow, follow your, your suggestion. Anyway, so now we have Ariadne, and as all these visages re re require, you need to be a traveler in order to use them. And, um, uh, nope, that's Groot. Uh, here we go. Uh, so, uh, this is the new head. And I think this might be the most alien one we've seen so far. I don't know about you guys, but it looks to me like it's almost like a little creature, a little brain creature that's sitting on top of four legs on the top of the neck. But nah, that's just me. Nobody else thinks that. Okay, there don't seem to be any options to change the head shape, which is one of the favorite things I, I, I like about these visages, so I, I think that's a, a little bit too bad. Um, but, uh, so here, uh, let's go into the eyes. It looks like, uh, at least for this, the default eye is set number five. But if we go to uh, eye zero, that's the black orb, like normal. These are very small eyes. Yeah, you can barely even see what they are, can you? But they're the same as normal. Uh, one is a, uh, a fairly standard uh, mammalian looking eye. Two is one with the horizontal pupil. Three is one with a line through the iris with a lighter color on the bottom and a darker color on top. Four is a, hor uh, a vertical pupil. And then five is the, the vertical pupil with, with the bug eye look. And the secondary color sets the color of the eyes. That's true in almost all of the visages that, that we've seen. So here, on marking zero, almost the entire head is uh, the primary color. And on most of these, the accent color doesn't do anything on settings uh, zero. So I suspect that those will come out when we switch to markings one. And what is markings one? Ooh, stripes. Stripes on the neck and the ear tentacles. Interesting. Okay, so the, if the head is pink... Oh, look at that. So the face and the top of the head is set by the primary color here. And then the sides and the neck are set by the accent color. And it doesn't look like we can change the color of the stripes. We're just always going to be that purpley black. But the secondary color is the side of side of the head. Interesting. I do think this is the most alien face we've had. I'm a little bit concerned about the neck. I don't know if what's going on here is my graphics card or if it actually looks like that. We'll have to take a closer look at, at the N NPC when we're done here. Okay, markings too. Ooh, look at that. Flamey eye markings. Okay, so the primary color, again, is most of, uh, uh, of the head. The secondary color is still the eyes. Let's leave that as black. And the accent color is the color of the very bottom of the neck and the spots around the eyes and on the head. I can get some pretty neat looking effects with that, I think. Interesting. Huh. We can't change the color of the whiskers like we could on Mercury, but I suppose they're pretty limited in the options that they want to give us. 
Okay, so let's go look at the uh, N NPC who is over by the Nexus. I will be right back. So here we have Ariadne in the wild as the NPC is set. And it looks like they have eyes number six, which is either a light green or maybe a gray. It's kind of tough to tell. And here, the neck is uh, this black uh, tubey looking thing. So I suspect that was the why. I suspect the neck is is, is controlled by what um, torso you have set. And I had a a, a, a Corvax tor torso. <clears throat> Excuse me. But uh, that's a little close. I apologize, Ariadne. So it looks like they're on set, and don't have any interesting colors really, except yeah. So, I wish I would have changed the, the torso armor in the earlier video, but you can play with that if you decide to buy this visage. So, that's what Ariadne looks like in the wild. So again, um, uh, the, the next, um, ooh, I need to do the, the weekend event. Uh, the, um, this, this will probably be the last video for a little while. Uh, until they move past the, 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 the jetpack trails. Um, but if you have any suggestions, l let me know. And thank you very much. Oh, I passed 100 subscribers, which is like an order of magnitude more than I ever expected to get. So thank you very much. And if you, if you want to subscribe, that would be great. If not, I hope you have a great day. Thanks.